Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. Well, look at that, Pete. 32 degrees. We got no. some nice melting going on out there this afternoon, right? Not too shabby, huh? Yeah, I like it. It feels a little bit warm after six degrees this morning. Absolutely. You know? When we come from the basement with negative numbers yeah. and single digits, we'll take what we can get at this point. A little bit of melting today. And then right back to the messy stuff tomorrow. We'll talk about that in just a second. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 is clear and free of any kind of precipitation. So you may want to do those Super Bowl errands today. Tomorrow the roads will not be impassable, but they won't be very nice. Pretty sloppy and uh, slick at times, and then a dry Super Bowl Sunday, so the storm that moves in tomorrow will get out of here rather quickly. We'll detail what we can expect in terms of snow, rain, and sleet amounts coming up in just a few minutes. A beautiful shot over Narragansett Town Beach this afternoon. Lots of blue sky out there. Temperatures, as Danielle mentioned, already in the 30s. 30 in Taunton, 27 in Smithfield. We're 30 in Westerly and 31 in Newport. We'll add another few degrees onto these temperatures, and that's what you get for the highs today. Notice this thin veil of clouds just scraping the south shore. The south shore may see a few uh, high thin clouds moving this afternoon, but all in all, we average out mostly sunny. 1 o'clock, 33 degrees. By 3 o'clock, 35. And by 5 p.m., we're down to 30. There'll be a bit of a breeze out there. Could see some gusts up to around 20 or 25 miles an hour, but uh, all in all, pretty comfortable day. 33 Pawtucket, 34 in Rumford. North Providence gets just above the freezing mark. Along the West Bay, not a bad day to uh, be outside, do some shopping. 34 in Warwick, 34 in Riverside, and 34 your high temperature in Barrington. Along the south shore, we will also see temperatures in the mid-30s with those winds between about 10 and 20 miles an hour. Could see a few gusts getting to around 25. Northern Rhode Island temperatures just a little bit cooler, low 30s, 31 for Pasco. And for southeastern Rhode Island, we're talking about 34 for Middletown, Little Compton 34, and New Bedford gets into the mid-30s. All right, let's talk about tonight, shall we? We go hour by hour. Notice we keep things dry, mostly clear early. The clouds start to increase late, and then by early tomorrow morning, I still think think we're dry. 7 o'clock in the morning, the precipitation holds off, but after that, say to the 10 o'clock hour, most of us will probably start out with either some rain, wet snow, or sleet, and then changing over quickly to rain throughout the afternoon. So it's a mostly rain event, even as we go through the late afternoon and evening represented by the green. Now, watch what happens as we go through the evening. This is 8 o'clock. We may see a little bit of a break in the precipitation, and then a quick shot of snow very late on Saturday night. So you can see the strip of blue representing the snow moves in Saturday overnight. But watch what happens. By Sunday morning, the blue is gone. The snow moves out of here. And by Sunday, we're talking about partly cloudy skies. So it's a quick hitter. All in all, when we add everything up, about an inch of snow from Providence up and down a 95, perhaps a bit more, one to three inches for northwestern Rhode Island and three to seven inches into uh, northern Massachusetts and southern New Hampshire. So the ski resorts may not mind this next bout of snow. Seven-day future cast, well, it continues to be busy here. We have a break on Sunday. I know, I'm sorry. Monday, we're at 39 degrees, some rain and snow possible Monday night to Tuesday. The pet potentially bigger system would be on Thursday. That could bring some rain and snow, and if that pans out, yeah, that could be a major significant winter event around here, but I don't uh. want to sound the alarm just yet. Uh, of course, WPRI.com is the place to go, and you can also watch Cox Digital Cable Channel 125 for the latest weather updates. Now, why would you want to do that right now? Because I, every know, other day you've got I, some bad <laughs> I understand your point. I yeah. understand your point. You could watch it just to focus on today. Okay. Which and then is turn nice. it off the other parts, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Pete. At least part of the weekend's nice. <laughs> yep. That's right.